we're still on with the AM show. As always, you can get interactive on Facebook, Journeys on TV. We also have uh, a Twitter handle, but we're always live on YouTube. And please go look for the channel, My Joe Online TV. Of course, Bendis Abubedu is always on hand to help us do a lot of the things uh, on the platform. Uh, good morning to you. Good uh, morning, Bendis. Roland. It's good to be here with you. Yeah, thank you. As always. And yesterday, you, you did great work with... Um, the the species yeah yeah that yeah the discovery extinct, yes the um, discovery of that critically endangered species yes. and that was an interesting interview you had yes, with Neil and Tivander Ford yes it was, yes, it was. was very interesting <laughs> that very was, very he's interesting. really controversial I know right yes yes but but today you know Amma say yes she spoke on the floor of Parliament yesterday yeah. but you know um, Mama V yes. uh, had an interview <laughs> with her earlier this year way before April. And uh, it had to do with her contribution in Parliament. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of people were criticizing her because they thought she wasn't too fluent in the English language. And she told Mama V something. Okay. You know, she gave a promise that she was going to flow in April. Are we doing some recaps? Oh, sure. We <laughs> definitely are doing a recap. I'm feeling very well. Okay. Uh, who is uh, taking care of your salon uh, as you are in Parliament? I have members there in my salon. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm just uh, looking at a time where you can call a few members together and try and fix their hair. Uh, but what committees are you on in Parliament? Uh, House Committee and Social Welfare and Employment. Let's talk about the speech you delivered on the 6th of March and how people are receiving it, basically ridiculing the statement that you made. How do you feel about that? Hmm. I'm very sad that people are laughing at me. Hmm. But I'm proud of myself. Hmm. If you had the opportunity, would you change anything about either yourself or the speech that you made? Hmm. Oh, me and Sisahe, I will not change anything. Okay. When would we see you actively participating on the floor of Parliament? April. By April. I will flow. <laughs> so, I mean, she's, she's excited herself. But that was then. Yeah. But this is now. She couldn't, you know, appear before uh, the House or speak before that, the, mm. the Speaker in the House in April. In April but she definitely to did flow. in December, at least. Uh, you know, she didn't move into 2018 without fulfilling that promise. So, for those of you who missed out on Parliament uh, yesterday, here's MP4 Akutia Amase. Flowing. The inauguration brought great hope to the people of Abedia and the constituents whose fortunes have since large scale mining began in 1924 been linked with mining in the town. Mr. Speaker, for the people of Abedia, the beginning of the operations by DCDJL was an important landmark in the mining industry in Akwetia and in the and in Ghana and that is showed the coming back of large scale mining which would bring progress, jobs and prosperity to Akwetia and Ghana at large. But but what do we see now, Mr Speaker? The new company has, since its beginning, done no mining. Its interest has only been to input together parts of plant and machinery and selling them as scraps. It has so far also been involved in selling sand and stone part up all over the place through many years of mining operations by Ghana Consolidated and for former, former British-owned Consolidated Africa Selection Trust. Mr. Speaker, it is now, now clear that the and she fraud. Yeah, she she's done well. I am I'm, I'm encouraged. I'm nobody's, impressed. Nobody saying she didn't do well. Oh no, but uh, come on, we see what people I, say I, on I, social media and mm. what people calling into stations to say she's done great. And I think there's a lot of encouragement. At least we are not creating a sort of an elitist governance system. Everybody can can, can take but part. If you in look governance. at the rules of parliament, mm. so 
they communicate in English in a local language. But she just communicated in English. Before, but eh? she just communicated yeah, in English. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So even it doesn't matter if she communicated in, in her local language on the floor of parliament. Mm. Yeah. You think she should have? I think she should. Be she should herself. feel free to be herself. Yeah, rather than Yeah, because what's most important is that you're able to perform your duties on the floor of the house because you serve on various committees, you have other responsibilities as a member of parliament, and you are in touch with your constituents who are the people who elected mm -hmm. you. That's the most important. Sure, thing. talking about members of parliament, we've but got I two think, of them. But, yeah. I, but, I, but I think that her primaries is going to be a tough one. I mean, I'm not too sure whether she's going to retain it. Really? Well, yeah. fingers crossed, we'll see how it pans out. But we've got two MPs in the house, and yes. you're ready to discuss well, a lot of issues with yes, them. I'm particularly interested in, in, which in, one? in the Bantama, Daniel Ochoa yeah. MP for Bantama. Well, There's a lot of things to talk about. You know, it, 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 the hub of the <coughs> sorry the 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 gang that raped the teenager well, and the hub of the, the hub yes yeah, it's a center <laughs> and in fifteen <Fifi. laughs> what is it what is it hub mm. so Daniel Chema Boaje will be here yeah. he will also be here with legal practitioner member of parliament for yes, South Dine Nelson Robson Nelson Dapemapo but we'll have great discussion it's not only that also we'll be discussing you know mm, yeah. the concerns that the minority had expressed about. Um, what was collected from expatriates mm. during uh, mm. an awards or an awards an event, event yes uh, and they were to sit around the, the president. president and those who wanted to sit outside that uh, periphery also had to pay some money extra but um you know we'll discuss all that. you know it's initially the chairman of the committee in parliament involve. dismissed the claims uh, but uh, carlos ahinkra deputy trade minister says yes uh, we did it on behalf <laughs> of the private organizer it, it, it for me it doesn't speak too well i mean one hundred thousand dollars that's uh, a lot of money will. how many of them paid maybe we should be asking all these questions um, um, yes, president how many of them one two three four five Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure you know the number. Uh, but we'll be having a lot of interesting discussions, so you don't want to miss anything. We'll be back in a moment. Just stay up.